All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And today we shall discuss one of the very crucial axes of astrology, the 612 axis. It's a very, very, very crucial axis because this controls so many things actually. This controls like so much. You you don't know what this axis is because this is the only axis where both the planet, uh, both the houses are technically called those thanas, which means the houses which give you challenges or the houses which make you pay or give something to others even if you don't want. So therefore, uh, it's very crucial that we understand this axis. We have to understand, uh, I'll try to explain this from different perspectives, okay? So therefore, uh, this will give you a good perspective on uh, how to use astrology and how to improve this axis. So suppose you have planets in 6 and 12, then what you should do, all right? And uh, so suppose now uh, if you have a planet like Rahu in 6 or Saturn in 12, then what will happen and what you should do, that will depend on the individual horoscope. But what I want today to do is to give you a way, an approach to think about how to solve these issues because many times we superficially do some remedies for the planets in Dustanas, but then it doesn't work out. But there are a lot of practical things which you can do, all right? So we all know what the sixth house is. Sixth house is the house of uh, work, basically. Daily job, basically. And twelfth house is the house where we kind of go to sleep that's the house of exit so that's the house of death so sleep is also like exit we are like exiting from the day and 12th house is also like death because sleep is in one way you are dead because uh, you don't know anything i mean you are not conscious of course so therefore how should you understand this axis actually and here you you have to take into consideration the trines to these houses also okay so which are the trines to the 6th house? We have the 2nd and the 10th. Which are the trines to the 12th house? We have the 4th and the 8th. So these, these, the other 4, 2, 10, 4, 8, they play a very, very, very crucial role actually. Okay. So as usual, if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation, you will find my website down in the description section. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who has too many planets in the 612 axis. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So let's try to understand this from uh, the nervous system point of view. Okay. So now this is just a basic overview of uh, the 6000, the 12000 using your nervous system basically. So we have the uh, sympathetic nervous system, which is a part which is a part of the nervous system which gets activated when uh, you are in some stress, okay? Stress doesn't mean some uh, career stress or work stress or something, anything. So suppose you are uh, going somewhere, you are walking, that is a stress to the body, okay? So you are climbing the stairs. So when you are breathing, breathing uh, in, you know, that, that is like a stress to the body. And then there is the parasympathetic nervous system, which gets activated when uh, you, when you are when you are supposed to go back to normal, basically. So when you are breathing out, basically. Okay. So these uh, the, these two nerve these two factors of the nervous system they are uh, working uh, harmoniously. Okay. So therefore, you will see that um, first of all, let's try to understand the sixth house. So what is the sixth house basically? It is the house of our weaknesses basically. So I had made a video on uh, solutions to planets in the sixth house. You can watch that here. I'll put here uh, at the end. So uh, sixth house tells you your weaknesses basically. So the three planets, Jupiter, Sun and Moon, they are Sattvic planets and they remove all weaknesses. Okay. And the remaining six planets, they give six anarthas, you know, Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Madha, Matsari, okay. So, uh, the thing is, you have to understand that sixth house shows my weaknesses, okay. So, even if your sixth house is empty, uh, you will have a sixth lord, okay, that can show your weakness. Uh, but the thing is, uh, what, where actually this sixth house comes from? If you 
if you see uh, the second house is in trines okay so second house is actually the food that you eat so what you eat will decide what happens in the sixth house so if you are eating good food then you will able to you will be able to conquer your weaknesses which means sattvic food which means foods which are represented by jupiter sun moon which are like you know vegetarian food or food which is freshly cooked okay so therefore if you are eating rajasic food mercury venus then you will your anarthas will in, in, increase okay your karma will increase your sex desire will increase then if you're eating tamasic food you know it's like all this garbage like fast food meat and all this you are drinking wine and all this then your tamas will increase that will make you more lazy more pessimistic uh, more negative all the time so therefore if you want to solve a problem uh, related to a planet in the sixth the first thing you should do is don't look at the sixth house look at the second house okay so make sure that you are eating the right things because if your diet is not proper then if your diet is under rajas or tamas then these six planets they will have heavy influence on the sixth house and then you will become more and more weak and when you are weak what happens uh, when you are weak uh, naturally the seventh house from that house gets activated okay or that house gets affected by either way so then what happens is if you are having weaknesses in your sixth house then during the day you will realize that you are not able to work properly because then weaknesses will give you distractions okay so if you are eating too much rajasic food then you will have distractions of mercury venus you know you will be hovering around instagram youtube and all this uh, staring at uh, photos of the opposite sex so that's not good because then you cannot work you don't have focus and the moment you lack focus in life then what happens then your 12th house gets affected then in the because your day is not good so your 6th house has is not functioning properly basically because of that the 12th house cannot function properly okay so uh, you try this you know i mean don't try but you could still try try for half a day not full day tomorrow you can try morning uh, just get up or you can try this on a saturday or sunday you know half a day don't do anything just just waste your time watch tv or just gossip or do all the nonsense basically i mean uh, not that you do something which is scripturally not recommended but you you just keep seeing news or you know just keep raising youtube videos for no good reason and then you see in the night you won't get sleep this is a latent challenge i am giving you because why because the 12th house is not functioning properly because the 6th house is not functioning properly because every house completes the other house so if you want to sleep properly then you must do proper work during the day you must be properly engaged and for that your food has to be good if your food is not good then it won't happen and so now suppose your food is good and uh, then you have this uh, good good work and sixth house is also digestive system by the way okay and then your 12th house is good okay so what happens after that when you get up in the morning which house gets activated actually yes when you get up in the morning your uh, fourth house gets activated because getting up is the future of sleep okay and we know like children or future is the fifth house so which is the fifth from the 12th so therefore do you feel sometimes that when you when you get up early in the or when you get up in the morning early or late you feel very depressed you feel sad you feel very lethargic do you feel like that if you feel like that then there is a problem in the 12th house because there is a problem in the 6th because there is a problem in the second <laughs> it's linked like this you see so therefore uh, many times what happens is you uh, you you feel uh, many times people tell me that two periods are very difficult in their life which is that every day morning when they get up and they are about to sleep okay then they cannot get sleep so if your sixth house is not good you will suffer from insomnia okay so therefore uh, make sure you are properly engaged during the day so that you do not get insomnia and see this is also linked uh, the fourth 
the fourth house is the house where you get up and you feel uh, uh, rejuvenated basically okay fourth house is also the house of rejuvenation because it's the uh, house where you feel at home and that means you are at peace so you feel energized you feel strong and if the fourth house is not good if you are morning when you get up if you feel oh, why did i get up today or if you feel I should sleep more, or if you feel I didn't have a good sleep, then what happens? Your 10th house gets affected. You cannot work. <laughs> so, therefore, the 6th house controls the 12th house, which controls the 4th house, which controls the 10th house. 10th house is the house of name and fame. Yes. So, if you feel that you are working, 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 but you are not getting any name and fame, then please watch out this axis 6 12 axis no 4 12 axis so therefore it is very very crucial that you eat good food and you are properly engaged during the day because otherwise everything is destroyed you see because if your food is not good then what happens if you're eating all the junk then what happens is the eighth house is the house of toilet okay toil uh, stool or urine all this is seen from the eighth house because it's exit okay the external sexual organs are also seen from the eighth house so then uh, as soon as you get up in the morning which is fourth house then what do you do the eighth house which is the future of the fourth house so you go to the uh, toilet for clearing your uh, stomach but then you won't be able to clear your stomach some problem or the other will be there if your food is not good. So this one house, second house is controlling everything actually. Okay. And you will also see if your food is not good, then as I was saying about the sympathetic nervous system, which is like adapting to, uh, which is making your body ready, preparing for stress, handling stress. Then what happens? You are always stressful, you will see. You will, you will always feel you are, uh, not, you are not able to calm down basically because and the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, they will always work in harmony. So if your uh, sixth house is imbalanced, then you are always in this anxiety mode. Okay, Your anxiety is like always at the peak. So what are the symptoms of this anxiety? You cannot handle anything which anybody says. You, you are critical about everything. You are critical about politic, politics, countries. Every, you, you hate everybody. You don't like anything. You don't like yourself. You don't like him or nobody actually. You always blame. All the negativity will come. All the negativity of this world is there in the 6,000. Remember, remember. So then what happens? When you go to sleep in the night, then the parasympathetic nervous system is, is not able to function properly because your sympathetic nervous system is overly hyperactive all the time and because of that what has happened you cannot sleep because to sleep the parasympathetic nervous system has to get activated properly and which cannot happen if the sympathetic nervous system is always like you know boom 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 it's going like this so therefore uh, if you want to sleep properly because this this cycle is linked Okay, although I have named this video as 612 axis, but everything is linked. If you cannot work properly, then the future of work, which is fifth from the sixth, which is the tenth house, which is the house of name and fame, you won't get name and fame, which everybody wants these days. You won't get recognition. It's not about getting name and fame, but it's about getting recognition. Nobody will recognize you because uh, you, you may not be working the way you should work. You may think you are giving everything, but then it may not be in the right direction. So many times you have career issues or sleep issues. So this is how you have to understand actually okay, that every house is linked. So the moment you damage one house, the second house, the sixth house gets damaged. Your intestines are damaged. Then the eighth house gets damaged because it is fifth from the fourth. And the fourth house gets damaged. Your sukha, your happiness, fourth house is sukha stan. That gets damaged. Okay, so therefore be engaged during the day properly. And before you sleep, when you are about to activate your twelfth house, do not activate the sixth house. Don't activate your sympathetic nervous system. <laughs> How do you do that? Before going to uh, to bed, you know you are using WhatsApp, Instagram, and all this. So. Therefore, before sleeping, you the best thing what you should do is you should uh, take the Bhagavad Gita. Okay, 
you should take the Bhagavad Gita and you should randomly read some words okay so here I randomly opened and this is uh, 269 okay so here this is a uh, sixth chapter Dhyan Yog <laughs> the Supreme Personality of God had said one who is unattached to the fruits of his work work again you see <laughs> and who works as he is obli obligated is in the renounced order of life and he is the true mystic not he who lights no fire and performs no duty wow this this is amazing because krishna is telling here that uh, you should work work doesn't mean uh, like here uh, you you do whatever you want but you should work in a detached manner and that's what is the 12th house right so we were just discussing all the 6 12 axes and you see this verse has come about so the best thing to do is to read the Bhagavad Gita before you sleep. Half an hour you read and even better than that is while you are reading you are falling asleep. That's the best thing. I try to do that. So therefore uh, you have to understand that if there is any problem uh, in your 6th house or 12th house. If a planet in 6th house is not giving you results, okay, then check the 2nd house. Maybe you are not eating properly. And if that planet in the 10th house is not giving you fame or recognition, then maybe your day-to-day -day activities are not good. You are not working properly because the 6th house is damaged. Okay, Because, because uh, there's another concept, you know, 9th house from every house. That we will discuss some other time. Because 6th house is 9th from the 10th. It is the creator of name and fame, which is your work. Okay, So, therefore... Uh, I mean, uh, if you feel that you lack recognition or you lack good health, then keep these principles into consideration. If you feel very depressed when you get up or if you cannot sleep, then please take these points into consideration and improve your life. Astrology is not a tool. Rahu in second, what will happen? Saturn in 12th, what will happen? That's stupidity. No, that's not astrology. Astrology means you understand what is wrong with your life improve your life that is what i have been saying in 1000 videos that i've made that improve your life and by that only you can understand how to properly utilize astrology otherwise you will be grazing astrology videos i know people who tell me they have watched 500 plus videos in youtube my channel and so many other channels but still they are unhappy in life and then i'm like how is it that you have watched so many videos and you are still unhappy even my videos you have watched or any other channel's videos but why are you unhappy because you have not applied those lessons to improve your life and that is why you are unhappy okay so use these concepts which i've given to you and uh, try to solve your problems check where is the problem okay or even if you feel it's too complicated then you check within your life these principles i said any layman can understand you don't need astrology to understand all this okay so uh, therefore you try to analyze what's going wrong with your life from the moment you get up do you feel like getting up or are you lethargic or you are lazy all the time so then you know there's a problem with 12 because there's a problem with six because there's a problem with second and that leads to a problem with the eighth house you cannot uh, clear your stomach in the morning all right so that is it from my side and as I said this video is uh, a way to uh, make you think about different aspects of astrology okay. This is not a predictive astrology video. I have made many videos recently but this video is not like that okay. So try to think and improve your life alright. That is my agenda for this video. Thank you very much and if you are new then please subscribe and if you want to see other videos on Dustanas then I will put it here okay. If you want a consultation from me please go to the website down. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him.